Good evening fellow vapors, this is Cass, back at you with not another juice review, but today I'm going to be reviewing the custom mech mod, the Ent. This is the lid of the box it comes in, it was the easiest thing I could show you. This is one of the prettiest mods I have ever had the pleasure of reviewing, or vaping, or holding, or anything like that. It is very pretty. This is a 24mm copper stab wood sleeved mech mod it is a hybrid mod today i have the goon 24 on top with a majestic drip tip on top of that and i'm going to be running nova juices solace so that leads me to thanking nova for sending this my way for a review unfortunately i can't keep it and i really really want to but i cannot because i can't afford to buy it the ent team essentially are a ukrainian uh company they machine mech mods and they do them in brass they do them 22 24 mil they also do them in copper which is what this is and this is a 24 mil it's got a copper firing button and pin and it's got a very smooth button so i'm gonna have a quick vapor of it we're gonna go down look at it up and close and then we'll come back up and we'll have a little bit more of a chat the pros and cons of it so let's have a vape. I've got the Solace from Nova Vapes on here. Let's go down to the up and close. Okay, so here we go. This is the up and close and we have the box for the custom mechanical mod Ent. This is made in the Ukraine. I believe Nova Vapes are the first company to bring the Ent mod to the UK. And what we have here is this beautiful handmade box. Now this says 24 millimeter copper blue and it's all hand put together and this lid slides off. Now here we have the mod itself in a Hessian bag. And in here we have a little bag here. Inside the little bag, we have some spare magnets, always good. Because if you've ever dealt with magnets before like this, they tend to shatter. And when I say that, it's if you let them go and they ping together, they can shatter. And neodymium magnets are very strong magnets, but they're also quite delicate. And you also get a spare O-ring. Now this O-ring is actually the O-ring that goes on the button to insulate the battery and take any battery rattle out of it. So we'll pop that back in there. Inside here we have the mech mod itself and this just slides off there and here it is. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is the 24mm copper mod. So you've got the copper tube and you've got the blue stab wood and they've got a really, really nice grain going on on this one. It's really, really pretty. Uh, you've got blues and greens and you've got sort of this woody colour here. Um, and it looks like it's all one piece. You wouldn't even see that you can unscrew the button here. You wouldn't see that seam there. It's just been machined so well. It's a little bit squeaky, but it has been machined so well that you, you don't even see it. Um, and then it's a hybrid top with a vent hole on the side. Now, obviously, this is 24 mil wide. It looks okay with uh, 22 mil RDAs on top. Obviously, make sure that they're safe to use on this. And please, before using one of these, know your ohms law these are for advanced users um so if you don't know your ohms law you don't know resistances and battery safety and things please don't use one of these it might look like it but this isn't a removable sleeve um this is actually built into the tube so if you take the button off here you can see that there is still that there and you, you can't get that off i haven't even bothered trying but i know i know you can't inside the tube you've got this wonderful internal threading now this is the button so you've got your your battery contact here You've got this O-ring here, which is just, it just stops battery rattle. So when you screw your fi uh, your RDA on the top, that'll obviously have a protruding 510 through. And then this stops the, the, the battery rattling, it absorbs some of that. The button here is very smooth. It is worth noting, when I got this, I did have to take this button apart and give it a proper good clean. It was a mess inside. There was a lot of what looked like old machine oil inside the button. And what that was causing it to do, it was a, it was a stiff push but then it was returning to different points at different speeds each time, which isn't what you want. You you want it to disengage the minute you press that button, just back to the same point. To get it apart, and I'm not gonna do it now because it is a bit fiddly, you take this O-ring off, you take you push the button up, and you take this little black O-ring off, and then the whole thing pulls out this way, and you've got the magnets. It's very easy to clean, and it is, it is easy to take apart, but it is a bit fiddly to do so, so I'm not going to do it now. But the machining's done on there really, really well, and the threads are just wonderfully smooth like that look at that it's gorgeous 
And if you look really closely, you won't probably won't see it on the camera now, but you can actually it actually has some texture to it. Not a lot, but it has some texture to it. And it fits just beautifully in the hand for when you're pressing the button, like so. It's just a smooth button. Um, it obviously, once you get a battery in, it's got less travel on it than it does have there, but it is wonderfully smooth. Obviously, when you're getting a copper mod, you do have to prepare yourself for a lifetime of cleaning them. This has been used for about three hours, and you can see that it's already starting to get some fingerprints. It's already starting to get some tarnish on the top. They do take a lot of looking after, especially that contact, that thread, and that thread. Those are your main contact points, and those are the bits where the tarnish is going to affect your voltage drop. And what I have here, I won't put a battery in it quite yet, but I will when we go to the, the, the next sort of section where I summarize it. I've got a goon here, and that just fits beautifully on there. It's not even that big in the hand. You know, it fits wonderfully, and then you press the button, and away she goes. It's just, just a wonderful mech to, to vape on. Wonderful. All right, let's take this back up to the FaceTime. We'll talk a bit more about it. I'll have a vape on it and tell you what I think about it. Okay, welcome back to the FaceTime with me. Um, we had a look at it there. It's very pretty. As you can see, it is copper. It is wonderfully machined. Like I mentioned in it, the button is now, after I cleaned it, and I did do a lot to clean it because there was a lot to clean, is far, far better. Um, it's a very pretty mod. Now let's go over some of the pros and cons of it straight away. So the pros are, obviously, aesthetically, it's wonderful. The second is, it's very nice to hold. It's not too heavy. It's not rough. It sits in the hand nicely. I have found if you get like sweaty palms a little bit it tends to slide through a little bit but most things look great on top of there obviously if it's 24 mil it's very pretty and actually for a 24 mil it's not that long it is quite a short mod so it does, it's not some big hulky beast that you're gonna have to slug around with you if you do decide to take this out which for me it would never leave the house some of the cons of it so the first one is for the money you're paying for this and it does retail here and I know this is the only price I think in the UK you can get it because Nova are the only distributors for it it's 220 pounds now that's a lot of wedge for a mech that i had to do quite a lot of cleaning on there's quite a lot of sort of old machine oil and sort of just grime in the button and that made it quite sticky so for that kind of wedge i'd want it to come immaculate you know bang a battery and use it no issues now you are going to have that constant ongoing maintenance of copper because it tarnishes in the air you get copper oxide that's not a manufacturer's thing that is just the way it should be but that's how i'd want it to come immaculate when it came now don't get me wrong this was polished the outside was beautiful shiny now this comes this is about three hours of use as you can tell you know there's some tarnish on there this is about three hours of use and when it arrived it was sparkly shiny and magnificent but the insides were not and all i did to clean it out was take some wd-40 on a bit of kitchen roll wipe it round get most of that off i then took actually just a little bit of cardboard because cardboard isn't there's no roughness to it but it's just enough almost like the, the the hard side of a sponge just enough to take any of that harder stuff out and then i wiped it around with a wet wipe and dried it off with some kitchen roll um it doesn't take anything off of it but it does take that top layer off that um was causing that stickiness and also if you take the back of a mouse mat and you flip it over and you can just rub that pin on that and it just takes that copper oxide off without doing any damage whatsoever to the pin itself let's have a vape on it the nice thing about it and this is another this actually this is another pro the button very short travel there i like that it hits really really hard as you would expect copper to do so let's have another vape on it uh, this is the goon i've got nova's uh, solace on here still yeah this is the ent mechanical mod Wow. One thing I've noticed, and I used to get this a lot with copper mechs, I'm not getting any hot button at all. None whatsoever. And I think the reason behind that is um, a lot of uh, mechs, the contact, the battery contact, actually comes away from the button. And that's a thread in there. There's a thread in there. And that can get grimed up. That can get uh, oxidized and all that. And that provides a resistance. Resistance provides heat. And heat provides a hot button. This button goes all the way through to the bottom of the battery. It's really, really good for that. So because the battery itself is one piece with the bottom of the pin, you don't get any of that hot button at all. I haven't had it, and I've been chugging on this for like three hours straight, no hot button. Obviously, the mod itself gets a little bit warm as the RDA heats up, as the battery gets a little bit warm from being used, but the button, 
no hot button and i know hot button can be quite disconcerting so you don't get any of that obviously it's it is of paramount importance that you know what you're doing when you're using these you've got to vape safe because these things are dangerous when not being used correctly being used correctly very pleasurable experience very easy to do well and very easy to take care of if it does take quite a lot of taking care of this is a beautiful mod i just wish i could afford to buy one i think the button Apart from the issues I had with the button, I'm actually getting used to it more and more. It doesn't have as much travel and it might take some people quite a while to get used to that. It doesn't have as much travel as some mods do. Uh, my rig has quite a lot of travel on it. I know the Limitless, that button just go, keeps on going. The same with actually the Dot Mod Petrie Light Mod and your AVs and things. The button is quite extensive on that. This, a really light press. It's almost like you're not pressing it. Thank you to the Nova guys for sending this my way. I promise I'll have it back to you in one shiny piece with all the bits. And hopefully I will eventually be able to afford one of these in the future. Um, you can get this on their website, novavapes.co.uk. As far as I'm aware, um, they're the only guys in the UK selling it at the moment. But if it proves to be as successful as I imagine it will be, you might see it in other places too. You're looking at $219.99 for the this one specifically, the blue Stabwood Mech one. Uh, you're looking at 170 quid for the 22 mil brass, which is like a blue wood. Uh, 202 for the 24 mil brass. And they do a titanium one, which is green. That's 185. And the end mod, the green Stabwood Mech, which is 24 mil brass. You're looking at 200 and sort of 299, so 205 pounds with postage. Honestly, well recommend it if you're looking for a high quality, easy to use, but not very well known mech. Um, this is one to get to. It's not too heavy and it just vapes really well. All right, thank you for watching. I have been Cass. This has been a mech mod review. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button and share it around. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I do love reading your feedback and I'll always try and get back to you. Uh, so thank you for watching. I have been Cass and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.